As the strength and proficiency increase, the horse's head and neck will be raised to a position in which a line drawn from the nose to the hip will be parallel to the ground, and the pole will be at the highest point of the arched neck. This must not be considered a strict rule, as the amount of the neck will be raised will depend on the conformation of the horse, that is to say, the length of his back and the length of the shape of his neck. The pole, however, must be the highest point of the horse's head regardless of his conformation. Since a horse is unable to place his forelegs on the ground at the point in front of the line drawn straight downward continuing the line of his face, it will be a false extension when the horse shoots his forelegs farther to the front than this point in as much as they will have to be withdrawn before touching the ground, which would detract from the beauty of the movement. This points to the necessity of sufficient freedom for the head in the extended paces. When moving on a straight line, the position of the head and neck must be straight. In a turn, the horse must be bent from head to tail in the degree defined by the arc of a circle, or turn. The position of the head should be such that the rider is just able to see the horse's inside eye. It is of great importance that the neck is not bent more than the whole body, and that the horse yields in the gullet and not in the muscles of his neck. Both ears must be at the same level. Otherwise, the horse's head will be tilted. In the arena, a well-trained horse should have a slight position to the inside when on a straight line. It must be emphasized that the correct position of the head cannot be obtained by strong action on the reins, which would only shorten the neck. The position of the head is the means, the pace is the object of dressage. The correct position of the head will be the result of a contact and balance, both developed by riding briskly forward and will make it easier for the horse to follow the commands of the rider given through the reins.